Ayo, Chicks are here. The Stranger Things units got announced now or actually posted in the forum. So yeah, let's see if they are going to be good or not. So um, first of all, we are getting them as level 80. So I think I'm not 100% sure. Even if the animation is bad, we still can get an SSR because that should be them. But yeah, so coming to the first unit, it's going to be 11. So the first skill is going to be a power strike skill psychokinesis just like Sariel or a Loli Merlin. The other card is pretty interesting and a completely new stuff. Um, so it deals less damage per enemy on the battlefield so it's interesting but not that cool but hey who knows we, we gotta see but the problem is it has no other effect. So in terms of good was like for example the AoE skill is pretty bad but unless you can like basically play with let's say the ai that the power strike will kill one unit so that there's only one unit left it's gonna be definitely an interesting thing to test and also the problem is it's really hard to test and know because yeah let's say we are using 11 in defense and want to try out and the only current way is to try it out in pvp but you can't take four units in pvp but yeah so the ult is going to be inflicts damage equal to 780 of attack onto one enemy and restores the HP of all by 40%. So I think that's a pretty interesting ult for um, Guild Wars for sure, just so that you can actually lifesteal or heal. And yeah, increase the hero's damage dealt against enemies by 40%. Remaining HP decreases by 10% for each skill use. This is also very interesting. So in general, um, the more cards you use on 11 or off 11, the worse it gets. But at least 11 is increasing the damage. So this is an actually very interesting unique passive. So basically, you can deal a shit ton of damage early on, but 11 becomes a glass cannon. So most likely, you might not be able to use the ult. <laughs> Gotta think about that for Guild Wars for sure, because yeah, um, the AoE is weaker and stuff. But yeah, um, moving to Wheeler. So the first skill is going to be inflicts damage equal to 300 uh, 360 of attack on one enemy and puts an infect on so infect is currently so far not that popular i think i would say besides of on loli merlin it's definitely interesting but yeah um the damage is a bit bad though so i'm not sure um inflicts damage equal to 500 um and fills the ult gorge so basically a skill just like the green Escanor, while the ult cancels stances and buffs and stuns the unit so it's a red unit so in defense it's definitely an interesting unit to play with if especially in mono red probably if you can make it happen that red gotha works with him with wheeler that means that Wheeler can actually rush the ult pretty fast and there's basically nothing you can do about that ult unless you control with Dissolve. So this is very interesting definitely but let's check the unique passive. So if the hero inflicts damage on an enemy using a single target applies an effect which decreases attack related stats. Okay this is very interesting. This is actually very strong. So he has he has two single targets, which... Damn, I really like him. I really like Wheeler. So, he makes basically the enemy super weak. While, depending on his stuff, he might hit a decent amount of damage too. I think I like him. I think he will be pretty strong in mono red. So, well, let's move on to the next. So, it's Bias. Or Will. So... I personally haven't watched Stranger Things, so I'm not that familiar with those. So let me know in the comment section how or if in the series they say the first name, the left one or the right side or well, 
Okay. So, the first skill is going to be inflict damage equal to 450 and prevents ultimate move gorgeous from filling. Interesting, not many units have that or are using that. So, inflicts flood damage. Okay, cool. So, now we will have a green unit which increases flood, uh, which has flood damage, which means it's the same skill as T1. Ooh, pretty cool. And the ult is sever damage. So, sever damage is usually pretty strong, especially after the buff of. Um, three times damage and sets of two times and let's see if an ally falls below 50% due to enemy skill use they will have all of their stats decreased by 20% that's interesting ultimate move gorge sealed and applies one superpower superpowers applies when entering battle wait what oh um which grants immunity to all damage for one turn that's really interesting so um he's definitely going to be a unit which is annoying to deal with i think if you pair him with a loli merlin damn loli merlin is gonna be a truck so it's gonna be so hard to kill loli merlin i think and yeah let's check hopper so hopper has a normal dissolve card so it deals 450 percent damage and depletes Oh wait, three ultimate? Yo, no, 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 it's normal. It's a normal uh, dissolve card. I mean, in general, no, dissolve cards or, diff di uh, or dissolve units are not bad. And rank three is pretty interesting. So seems like it's a weaker version. Oh, actually it's AOE. Damn, he is sick. So he can stun for two turns. So I assume the two star will stun for one turn so basically we can or we have finally a unit here in this game who can crowd control this is something in this game was missing so far basically we have to try to play with immunity and stuff in future too very interesting and yeah so the ult is a weak point ult and the unique passive is pretty interesting so uh, at the beginning of allies turn randomly applies a direct hit on two enemies for one turn enemies with direct hit take 40 percent more damage and become poisoned for one turn when attacked by collab heroes the question is though only stranger things or every collab hero that's interesting and yeah so he's definitely gonna be a unit who's very interesting in guild war defense so I think, yeah, um, they are very interesting. I really like them. Besides of, I don't know, I feel like him. So I think Wheeler is a bit less strong maybe, but the attack related stats down is strong too. So without testing, it's really hard to say, but I think uh, all in all, it's a pretty cool collab and hopefully you guys or everyone has luck if you plan to pull and yeah tomorrow i will pull at around 3 or 4 pm if you wanna or if you don't want to miss it join my discord channel and then you will get the notification thanks for tuning in and peace out for now